Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. I am Zerul, I'll be your conductor for today's train wreck of the episode. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and get down with some applied energistics. That's right, it's time again. This is uh, one of my favorite mods, and I think we've got enough stuff that we don't have much of a choice in the matter. Uh, we just simply need something. Let's go and throw this in here. So, uh... Yeah, we we gotta get we gotta get working on this there. Uh, someone, by the way, had pointed out in the forum or in the uh, one of the previous episodes comments that uh, I was kind of being an idiot. I wasn't using the wooden conductive pipes like you are supposed to to pull out energy from something. So uh, yeah, that was all my mistake. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and. Start looking at some of the things. The first thing, the absolute first thing we need to get built is we have to get ourselves a controller built. Um, we got enough resources, we just have to get it in place there. So for this, we need four Fluix Crystals, and an Emmy Advanced Processor, we're going to do that first, and some iron. So let's do this first. So the Advanced Processor. So we need an Advanced Processor assembly, this is the way we're going to make this one which means a diamond and silicon and redstone. And for this, we also need a quartz cutting knife. So two sticks and iron and some quartz. All right, so let's find us some quartz. This would be the easiest one to use because I've got tons of it. Uh, iron and sticks and sticks. Sticks, there we go. All right, and Okay, let's try. Let's give this a try. Nope. Hit backspace to back up. Poof. There we go. Hey, check a look at that. All right. So, quartz cutting knife. Check. Next, we need. Let's see here. Redstone, diamond, silicon. So, we need to cook up some quartz dust. Let's go and do some quick grinding of some of this quartz here because we have. Again, more of it. Yep, there we go. It should, should go through. So the real question is how are we going to power this? Um, the previous one I had set up to some EU, but just running off of the... Uh, maybe I should... I, I could probably run it off of the Dartcraft engines there. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and cook this up over here in our handy-dandy iron furnace, which has been cooking up plenty of rubber for us. I think I'm just going to change over to these because these rubber bars, which are from the Mine Factory Reloaded trees there, are equally compatible with the rubber you get using tree taps, and I've just found that to be a lot easier to gather up, at least for now. I've got a whole lot more of this than I do of the other. So, up. Oh. Alright, so, we need some redstone. Just grab a couple of blocks of this. And where are diamonds? Diamonds! We got plenty of diamonds. Alright, so redstone into redstone dust. One, two, diamond, silicon, advanced. Check. Okay. Let's make two more of these. Because we will need them. If not now, then eventually. Alright. Diamonds back in here. Next, we need some Fluix crystals, which is redstone, the redstone and the two quartzes. All right, we can deal with that. Let's just pull all of our quartz stuff out here. Just pull a diamond out too. We can get the diamonds over. Quartz. Nope, not yet. Okay, sound down, music down. Someone did. Someone did mention that uh, the music was too loud, or the sound was too loud. Hopefully, this is a little bit better. All right. Uh, oh, quartz. There's some quartz. There's some more diamonds. There's some more quartz. All right. That's that's done. Nothing in there. Cotton. Quartz. Alright. And then do we have any extra? No. Okay. 
So, quartz, quartz, quartz. That should be enough for now. So we need some iron. Let's grab a couple of things of this. And... Ooh, that's right. we got to cook this up, too. Let's cook up our processors. Like so. Looks like that's going pretty quickly there. All right, so let's try that again. So for you, for those of you that have not used Applied Energistics, the controller here is what runs the entire Applied Energistics net. Applied Energistics is, is a mod that basically allows you to convert items into information and store it like you would a computer system. It's pretty cool. All right, so we need some ME cable. Fluix dust, which again is the two quarts and uh, two quarts. Actually, this is two quarts and that. Yep, plus redstone. All right, we can deal with that. And glass. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and grind up some quartz here. We actually need quite a bit of this. I'm just going to grind up like all of this. And I'll go hunting some more quartz in the nether here in a little, little while. See if I can clear out a little bit of the nether and get it all built up here. Um, um, for some of the other projects I've been doing there, um, I am still going to be doing, uh, st st got another vanilla Minecraft uh, episode in the works here. Uh, trying to decide what I wanted to do next. I've built up a little bit on my uh, on the walls, but I haven't. I've been doing a little bit of stuff in creative, a little bit of redstone work there. I'm thinking about doing an automatic melon or pumpkin farm next, which uh, could be interesting. Uh, how are we doing there? Eh, 20 sh should be fine for now. All right. Dust, uh, redstone, redstone. I'm also kind of in an adventure mood. So I'm thinking about starting up a series of adventures, adventure games. Uh, haven't been, I've kind of, gotten in the blah mood when it comes to the Shadowrun Returns, and how many people have watched it? So I haven't really picked too, picked up picked it up too much recently. Alright. Cable. 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 12 cables. Okay. So this lets us connect the different components together if they're not right next to each other. Uh, we also want some Emmy chests. I think we I think we want to start out with some just basic ME chests. So basic processors. Yeah, let's 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 start with the with the basic chest. We'll we'll go up to the to the drives a little bit later here. So we need gold, silicon, and redstone. All right. We got five silicon here. Let's uh just pull some of that out. And let's pull out a few of these. Far more than we need. Stop that. Uh, gold. Silver. Iron. Alright, that's... Redstone and gold. Five chests, I think, will probably be sufficient initially here. And we're. I'm going to put them... Actually, I haven't entirely decided yet where I want to put them yet. I could probably probably dig out this way and make a little uh, storage section right here. That's not actually entirely a bad idea. Because I want this to be for some basic stuff. This is going to be more more stuff down here, more machinery. So we, I want a general storage area. All right. And we'll figure it out in a second here. Uh, processors. Let's cook the processors up. Put that back in here. Donk. And let's eat a little bit. <laughs> Yummy bread. 
All right, we got flux dust, flux crystals, quartz, quartz, quartz dust, iron and gold. Chests. I should have some chests that I had made. Chests. 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 Okay. So there's a few chests. All right. Processor. No, actually, this is what we need to make. So five of those. That. Yeah, apparently you just can't swipe over that like you would normally. So, Fluix Dust. Like so. Quartz. There. Five. That's what we need. And then, we need more iron. Iron, all right. Let's try this again. Chess, conversion matrix. I put the glass away, didn't I? I put the glass, nope, I ran out of glass. Of course I ran out of glass. All right, I'm gonna take a pause here. I'm gonna go out and do a little bit of digging and uh, be back shortly. All right, I'm, I've just finished up in the desert. I've done a little bit of uh, desert dune flattening here. And since I'm over here, I wanna go ahead and show you this little place that I found. And we'll just take a look in here and see what we can find. Uh, this is one of the Ars Magica locations and oh drone fragment spell ooh meteor jump interesting interesting all right and i don't think nope can't uh dig through there there's pr uh you could probably jump up there and get in there or something ooh i wonder if i nah i'm not going to worry about it well, I got a few things, so let's go ahead and head on back. And I'm back? Well, uh, I was traveling on the way back. I just happened to find this little dark spot here, and as I was lighting it up, I found that there was this dungeon out in the middle of nowhere. Like, very, very odd. So let's go ahead and mark this on our waypoint here. Skelly Dungeon 1. Good enough. Turn it off. And we have a book. I don't need this, so let's take the copper. I do need the copper. Don't need dirt. Take the book. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. Ooh, ooh, a loot bag. A second dungeon? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is awesome. This is <laughs> wow, it's right out in the open too. Aqua affinity. Now that could actually be pretty useful. Redstone Claw eh, Tin. Alright. I don't need the eggs. Don't need the apple. Good enough. Oop, I do want to grab these. Uh, don't care about that. Nope, don't care about that. What's in the spoils bag? We'll wait till we get back at the base, which we're only a little ways away. So see you in a few more seconds. And we're back. All right, let's go ahead and put these books in here. A scroll in there. And then let's put these books in here. That should work well. All right, we need get some iron. All right, let's dump some of this stuff out. We don't need that or that. Arrows or bones. We can put the diamonds up. And in our loot bag is bucket of force. Three diamonds. Okay, I'll take them. I will take them. All right. Um. Melt down the bronze leggings. 
And let's grab a stack of sand to turn into a stack of glass. That's right. Let's grab a second stack of sand and a third stack of sand to turn into glass also. So we'll put that there. Sand, that. All right. Let's dump some more stuff on Skeleton Skull we can put away in the chest to go some of these metals, which we'll dig out in a little bit. And we got stuff all over the place. All right, glass. Okay, so two glass piece, I need 10 glass. And I do need this iron back as we will be needing that. All right, let's, we can come back to that in a moment here. I think we do still need the drives afterwards, but we can, yeah, we can come back to that. All right, iron, matrix scissors, and three chests. And there's two more chests. All right, two matrix chests, and iron. All right, so these, just double check will hold our storage drives. They're called memory storage units. Let's see here. And the smallest one is going to be our 1K. We'll start with that, and we'll just build out from there. So we need, actually, yeah, it gets kind of exponential. So we need five storage cells, which means five basic processors which again is gold, redstone, and silicon. So we gotta grind some more of this up to cook this down. And then we gotta decide on where we're gonna be putting our storage cells at. We also need to build a crafting monitor and a storage monitor. Crafting monitor is able to take what's included in the different chests and stuff and let you craft directly from there. Let's uh, put this over here. Yeah, go ahead and cook that up for me, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so we got one controller. We got five chests. Then we'll do one chest for metal and ores and another chest for things like gems and diamonds. And pop that in there. Is it already dark outside? It is dark outside. How time flies. Uh, one more. One more. Come on. Give us silicon. Uh, gold. All right. Let's try this again. And some of these like this. So there. There. Gold. Silicon, five of these. One for each chest. Let's cook these up. And just put that in here. We'll just deal with this later. All right. Let's let that cook a little bit. Let's go ahead and get our basic system here, our controller in place. So... The controller needs to be put... I'm going to put it this here. This is kind of the most central area around. So I think that's probably going to be the best place to put it. And then we will... Yeah, we'll have to drag some cabling of some sort over there to power it. Which I think I want to use this because this is a lot quieter. And we'll do some. We'll grab some conduct. Make some conductive piping here in just a minute. Uh, so the controller will go here, like so. Let's just break into this section here, 
And so we want to run this basically straight down. Try and hide this under the flooring at least a little bit. Alright, and let's go grab some more gold piping. Piping, gold, gold. Ah, nope, it's right there. I knew where it was. Uh, let's make... Yeah, that's good enough. Gold conductive pipe. Okay. So, the gold pipe is going to travel along underneath here. And that should connect to there. Alright, so this will feed these. These actually... For the equivalent, uh, this should last us quite a while there, I think. Alright, so we covered this back up. Like so. And then if we turn this on. Yep, there we go. This is starting to use this here. Alright, let's turn this off. So this is storing a little bit of this in here. And I'm not sure if these explode, but I guess we're going to have to find out, aren't we? Um, I don't know if, if we have to deal with too much explodium uh, when it comes to the new stuff. All right. We got these set up. So next. Storage cells. So these are... Let's put these in the center, like so, and then like so. All right, so there's our storage cells. Next up, storage cell, need some glass, glass. One less glass. Uh, try that again. Storage cell, iron, not enough redstone, not enough redstone. Now let's just grab a little bit more. Got to go down and get some more redstone. I think we got to make a quarry soon. Yep. I think we definitely have to make a quarry soon. All right, come on, get to placing. Redstone, like so, and then finally these. All right, we got five of these. So these usually will store the the different storage units will store sixty three types of items. Um, each um, and then so you have an item takes up a certain amount of bytes and uh for taking up one set of items and then the more items you add to that, you start adding up more and more. It'll make more sense in a moment here. Let's go ahead and grab our... This thing here. And let's place this... Right here. We'll just stack them up. Alright, so we've got... Five. So that will go there. That will go there, like so. Now these are currently have no power to them, but once we, yeah, let's, let's just cobble this in for the moment here. Once we get power, these should all link up together. So let's run power this way. This is what we're going to be using the ME cabling for. This is going to link the units together. So we'll break that. Like so. All right. Good. Oh, of course, I'd be falling down. 
Uh, let's break that. And we got to connect to that in some fashion. So I actually think I want to bring the controller down by one. Uh, let's grab our cabling. And our cobble. Let's see if we can make this all fit kind of together. All right, so if I place this here, I don't, I think I'll see what's going to happen. All right, I think this will be sufficient. Sufficient into the day. Yep. We'll just ha we'll just deal with it being halfway inserted into the system there. Let's grab this again. That'll give us the power we need. And there's our controller. So we have no power at the moment, which is fine. Let's cover this up. Uh, we'll, we'll work with storage priority at some point in the future, but we have these storage units now. We need a couple more things. We need a little bit more cable. Good thing we got some glass. Uh, let's try that again. Glass. Once we can, once we start getting this all put together, we'll start trying to integrate applied energistics into everything there. Because I'm suddenly wondering if you can actually do a direct export of solid items from one of these. Uh, it would be pretty interesting if you could there. Pretty interesting. Uh, or over here too, maybe maybe connect a um, uh, import bus on the bottom of these and suck out ingots and stuff whenever that would come through. Although that may work less well. We'll have to see. Uh, what was I doing? What was I doing? was I making? Cab cable. Cable, yes. Okay. A couple more things. Uh, terminals. So we need... An access terminal is the main thing. And... Yeah, so we need two of these. So two more basic processors. Let's do that. Uh, gold, redstone. Need some more silicon. Back to the grindstone. I think we need to get some very... I think it may put together some very basic industrial craft machines uh, off camera here. Like maybe a... I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. All right, that yeah, you know, let's grind the last of this up here since we're already in the process of doing this. Might as well just grind. Whoa, that was interesting. Uh, sticks. Did I break my crank handle? I broke the crank handle. Wow. That's impressive, I think. Or sad. Impressive and sad. Sad and impressive. Craig Handle. Can't believe I just did that. So apparently, you can't crank if there's nothing to crank. Alright, start cooking that up. Throw the, that back at the top. Good. Good enough. Uh, get some more gold. For those of you that have not really done too much with applied energistics, the crafting system that you can use in the end is really, really convenient. Takes a bit to get there, but really convenient. 
All right, let us... Where was that dust at? Like there. We need two of these. Good, all right. So we need some more. We got plenty of iron. All right, so... Fluix dust. We don't have any of those because we just used that up. Let's uh, grab that real quick. You can tell I am very, very not uh, <laughs> organized at the moment. Uh, fluix, fluix. Regular crystal. Quartz at the top. These things in the center and iron in the corners. All right, so we got the two of those. So next we're gonna make two access terminals. And for those we have that. Two pieces of cabling. Bit of glass and two of these. All right. Finally, we need a crafting table and a storage cell, so we need one more basic processor, and we should be done with all the processors that we need. Good, I already had got one ready. I am on the ball there, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm out of redstone again. And this has been Crafting with Zerul. Alright, and crystals. Two storage cells. Finally, we need a couple of pieces of wood. To make our crafting tables. Like like so. So crafting table. Nope, I don't need that many crafting tables. I just need one. Storage. Apparently I got some extra storage now. Uh, iron. And finally glass. Okay. So we should have everything we need. Uh, let us install, we're going to install these up top here first, because we're doing all of our crafting up here at the moment. Okay, so here seems to be good. Hey, that works. Am I out of space already? Yes, I am. All right, so we're going to have to drag this cable run. Maybe I may not have enough. Four, five, six. I don't want to drag it this way then, so that's not going to work. So we'll have to jump. Might as well jump. Can't believe I just made a Bon Jovi reference. Alright. Let's just cut this way. And then we'll cut this way. Light this up. Hey, this may work. This might work. May have enough cable, but it might work. I don't have enough cable. Uh, 
Okay. A little bit more cable, and we should be good to go. How far down are we? Uh, far enough. Nope, I definitely don't want to do that. All right, what do we have left? Oh, I've actually got the dust that I need. So let us place down glass and then get some more glass. There we go. Perfecto. Right. I think that should be good. All right, let's go hook these up. Access terminal on bottom, crafting terminal on top. Turn on the power and see how this works. There we go. All righty, let's go turn on this power here. Right. Where is the lever that I took off and apparently have promptly lost? So we make a new lever. All right, we have we have power. We have power. Drives have power. These have power. Oh, this is awesome. I've missed you. I've missed you crafting terminals. All right, so let me show you this is going to work here. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to assign the bottom left to metal and ore. So now you'll see... Let's pull that back. So let's say we put in one silver ore. Uses up one type and nine bytes. A second silver ore brings it to still nine bytes. A third silver ore brings it to nine bytes. Four. Five, and so forth. So the more you have of something specific of one particular thing, so let's say 57, yeah. 28 is 12, 14 cobble is 10, and so forth. So, and then when you add a second item, so let's say we add just two separate items, one each. It's using 17 bytes and two types. So different items themselves use up more more storage. Uh, let's see here. I usually toggle that way. Do I have any more ores? Nope, not yet. All right, well, there we have it there. And, oh, just to show you this here now. Ta-da! The contents of all of the chests will be ac accessible in the terminal. And this has a built-in uh, built crafting table. So the nice thing is that you do when you do that, there you go. So we should be good. I'm going to play around with this off-camera, get everything set up the way I like. Let's go real quickly and take a look at... Now, the water's going down quick, but the liquid force is holding out. So I need to get some aqueous accumulators set up and going to get this fed with water. And I think we should be in good shape. So, I think it may have been a little bit long of an episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, we're going to play some more with the Platt Energetics. Don't you worry. Um... See how much integration we can start getting between these different mods. Should be a whole lot of fun. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.